In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 through to 9. And again he began to teach by the sea. And a great multitude gathered to him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea. And the whole multitude was on the land facing the sea. And he taught them many things by parables, and said to them in his teaching, Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow. And it happened, as he sowed, that some seed fell on by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground, where it did not have much earth, and immediately sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. But other seed fell on good ground, and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased and produced some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Jesus taught a lot in parables. Considering the people that came to him, not all were doctors or Pharisees, intellectuals intellectual people. Mostly they were just poor people, farmers, carpenters, simple people. And so he preached to them, teaching them, teaching them by using parables, something they could understand. In this one today, of course, about a sower. Those farmers knew exactly what he was talking about. I live in an area that has farms around it, some are vineyards, and some grow <coughs> hay. And it's interesting, after the farmer has, has come along with the seed and planting the seed, the birds of the air come. Sometimes you see the fields just covered in birds being fed by the seed. So, of course, not many of the seeds then do blossom and bloom and produce to harvest. But because a lot have been sown, some do take. Jesus preached to the people using parables, simple words, simply to understand what he is trying to say to them. It's important, even for us now, maybe not quite as simple as the people back then, find a lot of people these days try to make things out of what Jesus said. But it's not something you have to really, really study and try and work out what he was, his meaning. It is simple. He made it for us to understand. 
He who has ears to hear, let him hear. We don't have to sit down and study and study and study and try and work. What does he mean by this and what does he mean by that? There's simple meaning there. The Gospels were written in a way. Jesus taught in a way for all of us to understand. Learn from what you hear, what you read. Don't complicate matters. Because it's not there. Simple. That is the reason why Jesus so often preached in parables. And you'll notice parts of scripture where the apostles come to him and ask him, what did that parable mean? And so Jesus then had to explain it to them. They didn't quite understand the message that Jesus was preaching. And you'll notice towards the end of Jesus' ministry, Jesus stopped preaching in parables and the apostles could understand what he was saying. So it is important for us when we read or when we listen to make sure we listen properly. Listen not only with our ears but with our heart. The words of Christ. Think about what I just read regards to the parable of the sower. The seed is the word that he is speaking to us. How receptive are we to that? And as he used many examples of where the seed fell by the wayside, birds plucked it out, or on stony ground where it had no soil to take, and the sun burnt them, they shriveled up. Make your heart good soil, so when the seed is planted in you, you will produce much, much fruit. Thirty-fold, sixty-fold, or even a hundred. Prepare your soil. This is what farmers do. They prepare the ground for seeding. We should do likewise. Prepare the ground to allow the seed, the word of God, to be planted in our hearts. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.